Hi everybody, welcome back to the Kids Fun Channel. We're going to have a great time here today. We have another fan request a video to make from the Thomas the Train set. Someone asked us to make Stepney. Now Stepney is kind of a gold color and he's not in very many of the uh, Thomas the Friends videos. So we had to make some Play-Doh to match that. So I mix up a big ball of Play-Doh like this here. And it came pretty close to gold, one of my favorite colors, which is hard to get. And I actually used uh, yellow, pink, and green Play-Doh to get that. There's my green I used, and there's the orange, whoops, the orange, and some yellow. And I even used some of this, like a pink, hot pink, and that's the color I came out. It's a perfect match to Stepney. Now we have a busy set here today, check it out. We have, look, Curious George over there in the background. And of course, Cookie Monster and Oscar. And there we have Hero the Helicopter. Watch him up for a flight, watch. Push it down, Curious. There goes Hero the Helicopter. Careful. And then of course we have a Birdie the Bus. Thomas is here. And there's a mechanic working on, look, is that Toby? How's your wheels, Toby? Oh, they're pretty good. Oh, and there goes Bert and Ernie just fell over the back. I meant to say Big Bird and Ernie. Bert's over here, look, on top of Cranky the Crane. Yeah, be careful up there, Ernie. Don't fall over. And there's Cranky the Crane. He's got a hold on Diesel 10, look. See him? He's holding Diesel 10. Because Diesel 10 has his claw on Percy. Percy trying to get away, but don't worry. Bench is coming to help too, see? Okay, let's get on with making the video, guys. We're gonna make the base first of Stepney, same as we always make the base first out of black, and we're gonna add the wheels. And for wheels, I always use these um, toothpicks to make the axles and little hubcaps. So right off the bat, we'll make the base with the wheels, six wheels on Stepney, and then we'll do the magnets in the front and the back out of some white and some black Play Doh. Let's do the base first. And we'll start with a nice ball of black Play Doh, and we'll Flatten it with a piece of track to make it nice and rectangular to match the base of Stephanie. There, that came quite nice. Now I can trim that to the exact same length. There, now there's the base for Stephanie. Now I'm going to push the three axles through and then I'll add the magnet for the front and the back. I use a small little portion of black, I roll it into a ball and I press it flat, and then I add some white to the top, and there's my magnet. See, so there's a the magnet on both ends. And now I'm going to push the axle through make some wheels. There we go, and there are the axles. Now I'm going to put the black play doh away for now. I don't think we need it until we get to the smokestack area. And I'm going to take six portions of this nice newly created color play doh and make wheels that size. First I'm going to make six round portions like a ball and then I'm going to squeeze them flat and then we got a wheel. See? Okay, there's our six wheels and there's our six little hubcaps. Now I'm going to pick up one wheel and show you how it goes. Put it on the hubcap, on the axle, and push on the hubcap. And there. Now let's do the other five. There. Now we have the completed base for Stephanie. Beautiful. Nice job. Now I'm going to make a big, long base to put on top of this here black part here, and then we can build the rest of the engine on top. So first I'll get another big blob of Play-Doh and roll it flat about maybe a quarter of an inch thick, and then we can lay it on top of this. But actually, you know what? I'm going to put this over here for now and work on building this part of the train and then we'll add it to the base when we're done. I'm going to roll this flat with a roller and shape it the same width as Stepney. Let's roll this out right now. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now we'll cut that out to match the base. There we go. Now we can use this to build the rest of the engine. So we're going to get some more of this new color, whatever it is, green or gold, and make this part here in the back. It's got white on top, but we'll fill that with white later. Yeah, that came pretty good. Now it's a little bit low, of course, because it's not on the base, but once I put it on the wheels, it'll be the right height. Now I'm going to build this part here. It's another big block of Play-Doh, form it into a rectangle, and we'll put it right there. Okay, just like that. Now we can trim it down to size to fit right in there. Okay, that came really good, actually. Well, perfect. Now what I'm going to do now is add, not a smokestack, whatever that is there, probably a boiler. Cover. So I'm going to make a little tiny hole there. Watch, I'll show you. Use my little screwdriver and make a small hole right here. Because I find when I mix 
when I add the play dough, all those small pieces, they might fall off. So I'm just going to add a piece right here in that hole. And press it down. You get a nice button there. So it won't fall out. Next, we're going to make that round piece right in front here. And I'll just get some play dough, a nice little ball of it, like this here. And I'll roll it to the shape of a cylinder that size. Oh, that's a bit too big. I have to make that a bit smaller. See, I tried a piece, and it's way too big. It has to be just right in there. There, that's better. Took about three tries, but I got it. Now I'm gonna add the black part right there. I got some black, I can roll it into a ball and make it in the shape of the cylinder. And now I'm gonna cut a piece and see if I can match that size. And that's about right, just like that. Now I can mix up some gray and white some black and white to make gray for his face. There, that came pretty good. Now I'm going to push that flat with my finger and cut a ring with my Play-Doh cutter. And there's the first attempt. And then I'm going to turn that over, flatten it again, and cut out another ring. Now that's a perfect face for step. Whoops. Now I'm going to try and add the eyes and the nose and the mouth and the eyebrows while it's on the deck. I mean, while it's on the tile. There, Stephanie's face came out pretty good. Now I'm gonna add the white to the top, right here, and I'll put some black on the side, right below the window. Just roll out a small portion of white, like this, and then we'll cut it just to match the top of the roof, and then we'll add it, okay? And now we can do the same for the black right there. Okay, now let's add this part of the engine to the wheels and see how it looks. We're almost done. There, well there you have it folks. I didn't put the number on, that's too small, and I didn't put his name on, but we all recognize Stepney. He looks almost identical to the real Stepney. Let's put him on the track next to his top and hat, see what he says. First, we have to install the spoke stack. I forgot that. So I'm gonna make a little small hole right here, in the black, and I'm gonna get some more black clay dough, and push it in the hole, and then I can form it into the shape. There, the smoke stack's installed. Let's put him on the track now. So Top Matt was very impressed. He was almost fooled by the fake Stepney, but there's the real Stepney there. The mechanic knows the difference, the number's on, number 55. But, but Play-Doh Stepney looks pretty good. Thanks for watching everybody, I hope you liked the show. And please hit the like button or the dislike button and leave a comment. I'd like to hear from you if you have any more suggestions for trains. We already made Thomas and we made a few more. So if you have any ideas or maybe even Birdie the Bus or something, whatever you want, send me a comment and I'll get back to you right away. And thanks for watching. Have a great day.